Hey everybody, in today's video I want to show you a couple of functions that have to do with simply just determining whether something is true or false. They're logic functions and they are AND, the other one is OR, and then the third one is going to be NOT and you can use a combination of NOT with AND OR OR. That was kind of a mouthful and maybe a little bit confusing. Hopefully this gets a, a little bit easier as we move along. So in the top block, we've got two uh, fields that we're going to compare. And I put the label on the top to represent programmatically what I called this. So if I look, see how this says TXT 1.1. This is uh, an input. So I, you go over here, you hit uh, insert and text input. So that's what this control is, but I, I labeled it as such. And the reason I put this here is so that when we look at this logic under this uh, label over here, I wanted it to be clear kind of how the formula is working. So what we're doing in this function of AND, let me go over to text, and let's try to open this up a little bit, maybe collapse it just a tad. Okay, so we can see that we're using everything with this AND function, okay? So you can see AND is over here. But if I look over here, we see that there is an AND function. And so essentially, I'm just going to cut this out and just do AND. That way we can kind of see this from the onset. So here we've got AND, and it says logical. And then that's all you have to do is one logical. And that doesn't make much sense because you can simply just know whether something's true or false. But where it makes sense is when you have two or more, in this example, they've got three, and it says logical, logical. So what does logical mean? Well, if we look in, no, nope, went a little too far there. If we look into the context of what I had earlier, all I'm saying is, is the text property for this control, in other words, the item that's in the text box, is it equal to A? And in order to do all of this, it's really important to understand operators. So operators, We've got equal to, and then we also have not equal to. That's these um, greater than and less than symbols like this. We could also do, in some cases, not equals like this. In other cases, let's see where you've got and. Instead of using and, I typically don't use the and function. I usually do and like this, which would concatenate strings, but if you double it up, uh, that means and and or you can do or like this. So even though you have an explicit and function and an explicit or function, you can also get away with using the operators of, of or, which are two pipes, or and, which is two ampersands. And so this is about functions and power fx, so we're covering the and. And so this is the way that you write it this way. Now, the other way I could have written this is like this. And so normally you'd have to wrap all of this in an if statement, right? So let's just move this in. And I would say if, and then that, you know, this if part, all of this is the logic portion of if, right? And then, because I get to a single true or false value. And then I do something that's true, and then I put another comma, and I do something that's else or false. And so this to me is a little bit um, unwieldy. It's a lot of extra code. And you'll see a lot of applications written in a, such a way that it's more like, uh, let's clear this out here a little bit. And let's do something like just this and this if and then whatever's true, and then whatever's false, and then closed up. So this is typically the way I do it. And so you can do it this way, or you can do it the way that I'm showing you here in the function. Now, I don't have an if, and this is where it does make the most sense uh, to where, you know, if we're doing it this way, good Lord, let me go back to where I had it originally. Okay. So if you're going to wrap this up in an if, it's just it's going to be a little bit longer than, I guess, 
how it needs to be. <laughs> so that's just my determination. Um, I did set out to do a video course that, that has all this, but I, I just really have a hard time buying into the fact of making code longer than it needs to be. But nonetheless, if you need to use it this way or care to use it this way, this is how you do it. You simply just do, you know, does this equal this? Does that equal that? Or if they equal this, maybe it doesn't equal that. And you can invert logic that way as well. So just make sure you know what your power operators are and how to use them. And so every logical statement in here, it's and this has to be true. So in this case, 1.1 equals A, that's true. And 1.2 equals B, that's false. And because it's and, both of them have to be true in order for this to evaluate as true. Now if we go ahead and play this, and I change out C to B, you can see over here before I do it, that this is gonna to change to true. See, so now that is true. So this and this is true, so this is true. But if any one of these is false, which is what I had originally, then the outcome is false. And so that's how that evaluates there. We can see we've got an or. So or is basically if any one of these are true. And so if we come over here to text again, we can see it's the same as and, but I'm saying or 2.1 not equal to A. So this is equal to A. So that is false because it does equal A. And C, let's make sure that 2.2 doesn't equal B. And so that is also true. This does not equal B. And because both A and B happen to be true, um, actually it doesn't equal, yeah, yeah. So actually this one's, sorry. Yeah, getting all spun around. This first one evaluates right here to 2.1 not equal to A. This one evaluates to false. So this one doesn't equal B, this one's true. And so as a result of this, only one of these have to be true. And because one of these are true, that's why you can see that it evaluates the true. So it gets a little sticky too. It, it always messes with my head. So when we're talking about these logical pieces and we start saying not equal to, it's, you know, it's the inverse. So evaluating true and false in your head, in your mind's eye, you have to make sure that you really, really understand what's true, what's false. And so <clears throat> breaking apart these logical operators like this it becomes very, very, very important. Otherwise, you're going to have buggy, buggy software. So even though this is quite simple, um, if you're not a natural programmer by default, this kind of stuff can trip you up very, very quickly, even though programmatically it's pretty straightforward and easy to understand. Um, different people are going to have different struggles with some of this. Um, some of this uh, logical stuff, I always have to stop and pause, especially when I start adding complexity. So even though this is two, I, because I've reversed it, it's like going four layers deep into the onion, and you really, really can get spun around to get lost very, very quickly. So just, again, take your time with all this. Okay, so here we have not, and I'm only using uh, text 3.1. And if we evaluate this, all I'm saying is, okay, so see the not here, this not equal to, not, there's two ways of doing not, okay? So you can actually use the not function. And so I'm basically saying that its text value is not A, and it's not A, it's C, okay? So not evaluates the true, because this is not C. So that is a true statement. Then we can come over here to text 4.4, I'm sorry, 4.1 and 4.2, and I'm basically using the same logic as we use here in the first line, except inside of it, I don't know why this keeps going off the rails. I'm basically doing the same type of thing, and it's evaluating the true, but I used not in here as well. I could have very easily just did this. And that's the same thing. So do you understand why now I don't use a lot of these and, or, or not functions? I simply just use the operators because to me, doing it this way is just a lot more typing. But I just want you to be prepared because as you read other people's code, as you work collaboratively with others, 
you're going to need to understand that you're going to see these AND functions, these OR functions, these NOT functions in the code, and you need to know, understand how, how this works and how this functions. All right, guys, that's it for this video. We'll see you in the next one. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.